everyone, and welcome to Perfectly Planned Content's Writing Wednesday video series, where we dive into the power of words and the many ways that writing can impact your business. I'm Lauren Keller, the Director of Content Writing and Strategy, and I'm thrilled to bring you a monthly video series that's completely dedicated to the craft of writing. I'd like to start off this video by asking a couple of questions. What do you think makes a novel a bestseller? How do some blogs garner thousands of readers? And why are some news stories just so compelling? The answer is actually pretty simple. The author knows their audience and writes for them. How can you be better attuned to what your audience wants to read? Leverage your Google Analytics. Analytics and creativity aren't that distantly related. A good writer uses the valuable tools at their disposal to create the best work possible. Let's see how Google Analytics can help get your creative juices flowing. But first, back to the basics. What is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a tool that tracks and reports website data. With this platform, you can see how many visitors reached your website, where they came from, what they did while there, how long they stayed, and more. This type of analytics is a gold mine for content creators. What metrics should you pay attention to? It's so easy to get lost in the minutia of numbers, making it incredibly important to know what you're looking for before diving in. Use your content goals as a guide to determine which statistics can offer the most enlightening insights. If your primary goal is to boost your website traffic, you might check out the number of new visitors or the percentage of new visitors to your website each month. You could also look at where those visitors came from via social media, email, organic searches, ads, or more. It's also a good idea to check out the keyword rankings. What keywords brought the audience to your website? What words did they use to find you? For those honing in on more robust engagement, you might check out your bounce rate, the most popular or trafficked site pages, and the average time that a person spent on each page. If you're looking to get a little bit more insight into your top readers, you might want to turn your attention to your audience demographics, their interests, their location, and even what device they use to access your website, whether that's mobile or desktop. A good tip here is to prioritize data that can inform actionable insights. If over 50% of your audience comes from social media, you might find that that's a pretty popular channel for you and dial up your work on those platforms. Analyzing data is also not a one-time event. It's really important that you check your data either monthly or quarterly to make sure that your strategy is working. Assess the quality of the work that you're doing, and then you'll be able to make intentional changes to reach your audience even better. How can analytics help you write better content? Analytics gives you access to your top performing posts. What posts have performed best and why is that the case? This is the time when you can break your most engaging posts down to their studs and see why they worked so well and how you can create more of them in the future. Consider the following tips. Assess the subject matter and goal of the piece. Were you trying to persuade your audience, inform them, educate them, inspire them? What was the goal? Review your title and subtitle. Maybe how-to guides hit it out of the park or perhaps your audience is more intrigued by questions. It's also good to look at the keywords and meta descriptions. What specific keywords were you targeting? And how did you position that on the website backend when you're posting your blogs? What po were the posts a little bit longer or were they shorter? Some audiences really enjoy and respond to long lengthy posts, whereas some audiences prefer quicker and shorter so that they can just digest and consume in a really efficient amount of time. Did your post answer a specific question or pose a specific question to your audience? Was it simple or more in depth? Take some time to compare and contrast some of these elements with posts that maybe didn't do as well, 
to isolate similarities, differences, and other trends. You'll find that this helps you create more enriching and engaging content because you are creating content your audience wants to read. That is the key for successful content marketing and content creation. The bottom line is to let data help inform your future content strategy. Orbit Media found that only 30% of bloggers consistently used analytics, even though it was proven that the ones who did use analytics saw better results. Analyzing your blog and website data can help you learn more about your audience's engagement with your brand. The more that you can focus your blog on serving your audience's needs, the more likely it is that you will find success. I hope that you have a lot of fun diving into your analytics and that that helps you create even more engaging content in the future. Until next time.